uh, we now have our next speaker um, from another sponsor, AWS. Uh, Steven Heidel is the head of software development at AWS Center for Quantum Computing. Uh, Steven, welcome. Thank you very much, and hello, everyone. I'm here today on behalf of uh, Amazon Web Services. AWS is thrilled to be a sponsor of this year's JuliaCon 2022. Um, today, I'll be focusing on one really exciting area of research development here at AWS, and that's quantum computing. Uh, over the next few minutes, I'll give an overview of quantum computing at AWS. I'll also talk about how we use Julia um, uh, to perform our research. And then I'll share some opportunities to, to learn more and try things out yourself. Um, so just a quick intro to myself. I lead the software team here at the AWS Center for Quantum Computing, and I'm calling live now from San Francisco, California. Uh, the AWS Center for Quantum Computing is just one component of a broader suite of quantum computing programs here at AWS. So uh, you see the AWS Center for Quantum Computing. We also have the Quantum Solutions Lab, uh, which uh, work on collaborative research programs for both quantum and classical solutions. Uh, we have the AWS Partner Network, including universities and companies around the world working on quantum computing alongside us. And we also have Amazon Bracket, which is a fully managed service you can find on the AWS console for running quantum computing programs. So speaking of Bracket, the exciting thing about Bracket is just as an AWS service as any other AWS service, you can run it, uh, you can go online and try it out right now. So um, through the AWS console, you can find Amazon Bracket, sign up, and this will allow you to build, test, run, and analyze quantum programs. You can write your quantum programs using the Amazon Bracket SDK, test them against uh, simulators, uh, both local and those simulators managed through uh, Amazon's uh, Compute Cloud, and uh, then as a next step, run those programs against real quantum computing devices offered by our partners, such as Rigetti Computing, IonQ, and D-Wave. Uh, finally, the uh, Amazon Bracket includes a suite of tools to help understand, analyze, um, and move on to the next steps with the results you get back from your quantum computing programs. Uh, again, this is a service anyone can sign up for. And uh, it's really exciting. Uh, when I first started in quantum computing, it was uh, five, six years ago, and it wasn't there was not this option to just uh, show up and, uh, and run some programs that quickly. So um, uh, where I work, though, is the uh, AWS Center for Quantum Computing. Um, the AWS Center for Quantum Computing is a, is a research center based in Pasadena, California. Uh, and also we have a team here where I am in San Francisco, California, that works alongside them. Uh, so the AWS Center for Quantum Computing is focused on building uh, quantum hardware. And we aim to be, uh, over the long term, build an innovation center with resources to execute large scale, um, long term programs within quantum computing. So uh, every day we're doing original research on quantum algorithms and hardware. Um, and with a particular focus on quantum error correction, uh, which is, in our opinion, the way that we get to uh, useful applications for quantum computing. Um, and an exciting thing, uh, new addition to our uh, research uh, here at AWS and quantum computing is uh, quantum networking. And for some reason, the words aren't slowing, showing up on my slide, but uh, I'll read them out for you. So quantum networks will leverage some technologies already deployed for modern optical communications. Um, and the AWS Center for Quantum Networking is going to be an innovation center to develop new hardware, software, and applications for quantum networks. So this will bring quantum network-enabled advances in privacy, security, and computational power one step closer to our customers. This is something that was just announced in June of 2022, um, so a month ago. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about this, you can check out the AWS Quantum Computing blog, where we talk about applications for quantum networking and key distribution um, and leveraging some existing infrastructure, optical communication infrastructure, uh, in order to send uh, uh, quantum uh, states uh, between locations for a number of different applications. 
So finally, uh, Julia here at AWS Quantum. Uh, we make heavy use of Julia um, for doing quantum device simulations. Julia's uh, both expressiveness and performance uh, uh, are perfect for our application of simulating quantum devices prior to uh, actually fabricating them and testing them in the lab. Um, so we make use of a number of quantum package or a number of Julia packages that you see here uh, and also contribute back to them, including quantumoptics.jl, quantumcumulants.jl, and itensors.jl. Um, we have uh, software that uh, uh, communicates between Julia and Python, and we take advantage of both languages in order to perform our work. So um, if you're interested actually in some of these packages, uh, one of the AWS uh, quantum team members, uh, Giacomo Torre, he and Matt Fishman are giving a talk um, at uh, 7 UTC on some of these packages uh, and how they uh, make use of Julia's features um, to perform the quantum simulations we need to perform. Uh, and finally, the uh, so we take uh, we make use of those packages here on the quantum hardware design team. So that's the team that lays out qubits and creates chips, um, chip designs for fabrication at the AWS Center for Quantum Computing. Um, and we are continuing to grow. So if you have an interest in, in Julia, large scale simulations, quantum simulations, quantum optics, or indeed have, have uh, run across any of these packages, um, this would be a great opportunity to, to explore joining the team. Uh, we are looking for research scientists, software engineers, and uh, and uh, people with a whole bunch of different backgrounds to come together and fuse Julia quantum computing um, in order to uh, to build our next generation of devices. So um, uh, there's a link there, Bitly AWS Julia Con, that will take you to a job description if you're interested. Uh, some contact information there for for more details. Um, and uh, obviously, we were very excited to, to meet you and uh, um, uh, share more about uh, what we're doing here at the Center for Quantum Computing and what, specifically what we're doing with Julia. So I um, wanted to keep this short and sweet. Uh, enjoy the rest of JuliaCon. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, and thank you to the folks at AWS who have sponsored Julicon. And that's it for this block. I just want to remind folks to please visit julicon.org and to follow the rest of our activities. Uh, see you all on the Discord. Dispatch and I wish you the best Julicon experience possible. Cheers. <laughs>